everybody. Good evening. So welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to do anything. I hope you will like and subscribe. And as always, whatever I talk about, I will put below. Today, I'm just going to do a quick layout share of the big bash kit two that we did all week. So a little bit late because as I discussed in yesterday's video, we kind of Went on a little field trip. We went to the zoo in Adelaide today, and it was a lot of fun. Although a lot of the animals weren't out, but I walked the whole thing, which from way back when, you will know that I started a weight loss journey, and I am really proud of myself, which may not seem like a lot to a lot of people, but it's a lot to me. I did have to sit and rest a few times, but I did it. So woohoo! <laughs> All right, so let's just get into the layout share. This was layout one. Um, I will put the whole series below, um, and you're welcome to watch it. I'd be honored if you watched it. Um, I hope you will have as much fun as I did this week by watching me go through each process because you know, I am not organized and I am not perfect, but I have lots of fun and I enjoy playing with paper. So come on the journey with me. Um, we, I, we, I, you guys were there with me, I hope. But I um, let the paper do the work in this one. And so while this is technically one layout, it is two pages. So part of me wants to consider it two, even though it's not. I mean, it, it is, but it isn't. So that was that one. The next day, I did another two-page layout of my daughter, Jillian. And again, I let the papers do the talking. I, I truly did. Um, you know, sometimes we just have a whole lot of photos. And as a mom of five, sometimes I just need to do a sheet of photos. And I talked about that in that video of layout too. This one was a lot of fun. I used a cut apart to make the title and I made a few little tags and I do still need a journal and I will do that before I put them in my pizza box later on. Now I am going to, cause all the rest are one page layout. So I'm going to go just like this and I will fix them later. But that way we can just concentrate on one at a time. The next one was layout three for this week from this kit. And I did Miss Jillian again. I used some um, pretty flowers. I believe those were robins um, from a swap and love RTS and some ephemera. And this could either be from Yes, Please Paper Crafts or it could be from Miss Terry Rice. I'm not really sure which one. Um, but cause they also used to do swaps. So it may have just been from a swap, but definitely had fun with this one. Um, then layout four was definitely fun. I had a lot of fun. I kind of struggled. Sometimes there are layouts that you struggle a little bit, but then they just turn out super cute. This die cut, um, I think I misspoke in the video. I wasn't quite sure where it came from but it was from a Love RTS because Miss Michelle commented she had the same one and I know that's where her and I share swaps. And so, um, and then these were fussy cut. I actually had planned on using them on a totally different layout earlier in the week and they ended up on here and they turned out really cute. Use some new product that I have, some flat back um, little iridescent beads that I'm really enjoying. I, I think I like them a lot, I really do. Um, and then I just had some scrappy fun on my own time. You know, I love making videos, but I really do try to put them all together. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do try. But I like to just relax and not have to worry about, um, how should I put this? Because I really don't worry about it. There's no wrong way, but it's just, just do what I want and put a layout together without worrying about filming, my battery, Am I, is the lighting okay? Am I speaking clearly? Am I talking too loud? Am I laughing too much? <laughs> All those things. Um, so I just put, I had an extra three layouts, two of which came out of this kit and one of which I just did on my own. I had a little quick one I needed to finish up. Now this one is my son, Junior. Look at that face. Is he not the cutest thing? He did not like my hair down. And so he would always make this face whenever he felt my hair. Because with five kids, I wore my hair up a lot. I still do. Um, and my personality is not one to have my hair down. Let's be honest. But um, I also used some swap embellishments. You'll see I did um, a little 
cluster here, I added some extra just sticker stars I wanted to use up. Um, and then this is a really cute tab that was made. And then this was an owl. And the funny thing is this was from um, the hoot swap that we did on Love RTS some while back. All of these, I just grabbed these out of that um, swap and I just had fun. I really just threw this together. This was a paper out of the um, kit. And then, and you guys know, I had to cut all these down because that hangy hole was right in the way. So I just packed it and I just kind of threw it together because I really try when I do my kits to use all the photos out of that kit. Because to me, what is the point in putting the photos in there if I'm going to have leftover photos to put away? I'm, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy. That's the only thing I know to say. Um, so this was a lot of fun. Then... I did this layout, super fun, super fun. I struggle with this darker paper, but I really do like it a lot. And um, this is a quilt that my cousin made for me. And it, there's a lot of stories here. Um, I kind of went to a sticker sheet. I used the sticker sheet on here. Um, I made, if you look closely, let me pull this up. If you look closely, you will see that this quilt is in my RV. She made it while I was living in my RV because our house sold so quick in Colorado before we moved down here. And all of these little um, blocks are bears. And I am a quilter, but it's I like paper more. And so I sent her these. I made each of these while my older three children were um, little. And I did it, it was a stress reliever and I had a lot of fun and my cousin made me this quilt and this quilt means a lot to me. It was made by someone I care about and all of these, I can tell you what I was doing. It was during a very rough time in my life and it was just what I did. I didn't have time to scrap as much as I do now, but I would take um, cross stitching kits to the park with my kids and I would sit there and watch my kids play and yeah, so this has a really um, meaningful story to me. It's an odd picture to scrap, but I definitely want my kids to understand it. Um, I only did a couple little clusters here. I um, used a wood veneer forever because, you know, some things will stay in your mind forever, and that's what it was for me. Um, and this quilt will last forever. Hopefully one of my children will have it one day. Um, so, and then I journaled instead of using, because on this sticker sheet that I used, um, it had hearts, wood veneer, well, they weren't wood veneer. These are, the only wood veneer is this, but it had little hearts and I used them as chevron arrows. <laughs> I, I was too lazy to get out more stuff. Well, there's a theme here, right? I'm always lazy. And then the last one, I just used a cool little sticker, um, and I think it's at the bottom here of my leftover, so I'll, I'll tell you what the sticker sheet was. I just popped the butterflies up on foam tape, used some enamel dots, and these were also on the sticker sheet. So, really cool. The fact that it was in the RV, you know, I, I used kind of an outdoorsy theme. So there's that one, and that was all out of that kit. Now this one's not out of the kit, it's just a Halloween one. Do you guys remember when we used to make just borders I literally found this old border. Oh, there's something on there. Um, this old border that I had made forever ago in my Halloween stash. I thought, you know what? I need to get these pictures done. So I did. Um, and yeah, turned out pretty good. It's, it's a little old school, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. So there we go. This one is probably, this one and this one are probably my favorite of the week, but I love them all. You know how that goes. I do. I love them all. All right. So now the leftovers from the kit. Let's go over that real quick. So I have a bunch of scraps left over from where I cut paper and put some layouts together. And yes, I even saved these. And just like I did, I'm going to throw parts of this away because they're just going to get hung up in the bag. Just like I did last week, I'm going to put them all back in my bag and at the end of using all these kits that I have pre-made with the photos I'm going to try to make some base pages with the leftovers these are all leftovers but I really wanted to use this paper and you guys when I cut it I cut it wrong it seriously frustrated me but that's how it goes sometimes still have some cut aparts left I still have some vellum left 
I have a small sheet and then I have a whole sheet of this. So, and I have a piece here. This is what's left out of my kit. I had a lot of papers in that kit. Um, I have two card stocks left and then this paper was in here. So I think what I'm going to do with these papers is I'm going to put them in accordingly in my boxes. Like this is gonna go on my yellow, this will go on my yellow, this will go on my yellow, and this will go on blue, okay? So I'm gonna set those aside to put away. I have a little pile of stuff I put away every Sunday when I get ready for the next week. This is my bag that all of these are going to go into. And I will set that with the other one. And when I am done with next week kit, the following week, Monday, I will definitely make some paper, some base pages out of the leftovers. And I will just have a kit with those and put that in there. So we'll talk more about that. Oh, here's one more. I had a little journaling block left over. We'll stick that in there. Um, you know, I do have some white, but I think I will just stick this in my white scraps because well, we always have white, right? Okay, so this is over here to be put away. This is that sticker sheet I used. I actually have two of them. I think I got them on cheap scrapbook stuff for, I don't know. I obviously probably got them on clearance knowing me. And this is um, Simple Vintage Great Escape from Simple Stories. Um, let's see, does it say the year? Mm, I don't see a year on here. Yeah, I, I do not know what year it was. I don't know. I've had this for, oh, 2020. So there we go. Um, these, you'll see all the stickers that I used. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope you'll join me Monday while we go through the next kit and we make at least four more layouts. I have no idea if that one will have base pages or if it'll be like this week. I'm kind of hoping it has base pages. It's a lot easier. Um, the, this is, just something I like to do. These are leftover from when I lived in my RV. When I get done with all these, I plan on making more. I don't know if I can do that on a video though. I don't know if I'm confident with that yet. I, I have to think about that. <laughs> all right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Sunday's definitely my family day, so I won't have a video, but I will be back here Monday and I can't wait to hang out with you again. And I appreciate you. Be blessed. Bye.